Hello, my name is Julie Yassar. I'm a broker and a certified relocation specialist in Spring, Texas area and working with the Realty Bank Group Iconic. I hope everything is fine. And how is everything with you? Hope is fine, right? And if you are a buyer, I know it's really hard to buy a home without a multiple offer situation these days. And I want you to give you five things that you need to forget this market in order to buy your dream house. First, forget the listing price. So what is the listing price anyway? To be brutally honest with you, it is a totally subjective and maybe meaningless number. With so many ways to set a price at which a home goes on the market. Some agents price low, hoping to score tons of offers. Some, following the whims of the sellers, set the price high, anticipating that recent gains will substantiate their price. Others price at what they believe is a rep representation on the actual market level at least for a week, right? And with prices all over the map, list price is not the number you need to focus on. The only value that matters is what any buyer believes they will actually need to pay to have a real shot on getting any given property, I would say. Second, forget the comps, which is comparable market analysis. Uh, is the look at the market that lists comparable homes have recently sold or still active or pending and CMA is actually actually is a critical in helping determine what you should offer for any given property unfortunately in an explosive market such as this one in which we find ourselves it's more like trying to drive while only looking at the rear view in the mirror and any driver can tell you that what lies ahead is far more important what is behind, right? Comps only provide a starting point and buyers need to understand that it goes up from there since the market changing so quick in this market. Comp analysis is not helping to the buyers as well. If you only decide based on comps, most probably you will lose your dream home anyway because somebody else who gives more than comps will is anyway. Forget what you believe the house is worth. Think you know what any giving home is worth? Another irrelevant, irrelevant number actually. At the end of the day, anything is worth what somebody is willing to pay for it, right? If, anyone, if someone else out there is willing to pay the price, the house is worth it regardless what, what you think actually. And once a home sells at the new high, pro new high price, the bar is reset for entire neighborhood. If you want a home, you need to figure out the other buyer's price and beat it. If you miss or flinch, the next one will be higher until, of course, the market turns. Another thing, forget the appraiser. With properties selling far above pre previous sales, appraisers even are finding extremely difficult bringing appraised at the contract price. Usually, in order to get the house, you need to sign the you need to sign the called uh, the form called a uh, waiver of the appraised value. This means the buyers need to come up with extra cash to fund any shortfall should a home price lower than the contract price. You, as a buyer, need to be very careful when you do this. Actually, if you don't have extra cash in your pocket, you may not get the loan. For example. Let's say the house's sales price was $370,000 and you make an offer $400,000 in order to get the house with the multiple offer situation. And you got it. And the appraiser came after a couple of weeks and said, the home's value is 370K, which is the sales price, right? Now the lender only can give you 370K loan and you need to pay $30,000 plus down payment, you need to pay plus closing costs. So be careful. Another thing, searching your home maximum price. And if you are qualified, let's say $500,000 loan, don't look at uh, up to $5, $500,000. Look at the 450s. And in case if you have a multiple offer situation, 
you can go up and you can still be in your you know uh, maximum pre-approved uh, price range and be smart work with the experienced agent who can help you and guide with you in this path and I had a one client actually we were looking for the house 300,000 and below and uh, it in the KD area recently and we looked almost a month with them almost a month almost every day I went there and I see the houses uh, and we made uh, more than maybe maybe around 15 offer and a couple of them they want really 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 more and one of them was I had a really good relationship with the selling agent and he guide me through all the way and I did everything what I needed to be and we you know signed the wave of appraised value and they clo uh, shortened the time uh, closing time or you know uh, option period time everything they needed I needed to, to be and I spoke with the buyer and they said okay we did it and I work hard until 1 a.m. on that day and I sent it and he replied to me 4 30 a.m. and I wake up next day it was Saturday 7 a.m. I was so excited I was just wondering you know and I see it, there was he say, he was uh, saying that based on the we changed the sales price we need to get another pre-approval letter from my lender I was like oh my gosh and he told me I have a couple of more hours before the relocation company contact with him I was so hurt I keep calling my lender keep calling finally maybe half an hour ago the time limit I was able to reach him and I got the approved letter and I sent it to him and we got the house but on that time no we didn't get the house in the beginning I'm sorry guys in first in this time we didn't get the, we didn't get it and I was shocked my client were so sad because we believed this time because we did and I know everything I did and we were the highest bidder and I was like what is going on you know we did everything right this time and then he was the selling agent was sad too and he said he was so sorry he thought we were the one who was gonna get it and I said what happened you know what happened and he said well there was another woman he make an offer three times because this house comes back to the market two times and this is the third time we, we were making an offer and the, the, she was the she she did it every every time she make an offer and she lost it and they thought I think she didn't say that you know it's a fair thing even though she wasn't the highest this time they said let's give it to her and they gave it to her and I was sad my client was sad but we were like okay let's look at ahead now we need to find the house they they had a limited time they were they were living in the apartment and we need to keep moving and the next day I went to see another house with them while I was waiting selling agent called me and it, he said is your client still want a house i was like yeah if they still want it they can get it i was like how is that possible is that the isn't that the woman who got the house and she said he said yes she got it and then she got fear you know it's like a child you know i got it now i don't want it <laughs> i don't know what was the thing actually but she gave up the house and I was so happy for my client because they got the house and then we send it, uh, another thing or they just signed it I forgot because I was so excited and they got the house and they are happy now so hopefully hopefully if you are hopeless these days because you were in this so much multiple offer situation just just wait it'll come it'll come and if you need my assistance let me know i can help you with and if you have any questions anything relates to real estate or anything spring texas area just let me know i'm here to help you guys thank you so much for watching me 
please visit my channel or my website so if you want to get more information about the real estate market let me know thank you for watching me see you next week bye bye